Good morning, everyone. It's uh, the weekend of June 14th. It's going to be a hot one here in Atlanta. Uh, this is a 2018 A-liner that's been pretty awesome, but this is our first summer getting into it here, and we've got a little bit of an issue. It's really well built. Everything's been great, but we've got an issue with the AC, or I should say the heat pump on this system here that I get cold air, but the way it's set up, and it's gonna be, let's open up some of these windows here, but the way it's set up is when we have the bed out, which is most of the time, my AC vents are down below, if you see them there, and the return is down on that side there. So what I'm getting is basically super chilled air down in this bottom quadrant here. It just keeps circulating. But up here, it's hot and stagnant. So what we're gonna be working on today to see what we can do to reroute that tubing down there, two of them, and they push out good air. But again, the return's right there. So <laughs> you're not getting much circulation. And you know, when this bed's pulled out, you see there's a big shelf basically here of two feet or more and then again it just all circulates down here this is the furnace so we're gonna we're gonna get this bed out of here take a look at what we got see what we can do to get some air coming out to shoot it up this up the ceiling or something and get it going to really help out the comfort comfort level in here sit tight let's see what we get okay here we are in the unit you can see better where the two outlets are there in the return which that return just comes over here and there's a hole there brings it in here there's really no room i mean you maybe have an inch above here in the top of the thing for air to flow and a little diamond cut here but the real return this is the real return where it sucks in so i guess all throughout this area i mean i don't i think there could be a better return quite frankly but if you look at what I got here, so these are both pushing nice, pretty cool air. I mean, it's 80 degrees already, but these are really thin, cheap. I got some, I think this is four inch insulated, pretty, pretty reasonable, like $15, I think on Amazon, bought two of them. But so what I'm thinking here is I want to keep this where I can maybe rehook this up for the heat for in the winter. But just I just reattach things for the summertime. So what I'm thinking of doing here is I've got these. Um, these are like drain tile collection at Home Depot. So what I'm thinking is making a separate run, and this is great the angle, and do it like this. I can come through the hole that's down here and run it straight up and then I'll put one of those flat connectors at the top and just get it out to where this brown is so I can get the air up and I'll adjust the angle. Sorry, the video's not the greatest, but again, this I think will be a pretty nice solution. Um, and not to mention with the cold air, I'll have the better insulation. But then in the winter time, I can just reattach. So I'll leave these laying in there, maybe reattach these in the winter time. So come, the heat comes out here. You know, I don't know, we'll see, but I want to kind of make this very easy to do. Um, so I didn't see a video on this at all. I've seen plenty of videos of people putting the air conditioners in the side of the units. I don't have that. So, but I need to get this air upstairs more. And this is uh, the plan. Let's uh, kind of mock it out here and I'll get back with you guys. Okay guys, as we move on, I've got one hooked up. I did have to put some duct tape around what a two inch wide, inch and a half wide duct tape around five revolutions. So it made this a little snugger so you didn't have to crimp this so much. But otherwise this fits good. This is cold. This has been running the whole time I'm in here. Here's the tubing. Now I can rehook this up if needed for heat. I'm gonna leave that down there, but I just undo this with this for the AC for summer. Now again, will I have this laying down here? Yeah, I can protect it, what have you. We'll just typically we'll put pillows here so when we're traveling, so not an issue. Comes around, this is already here, that hole. Got it coming up through there. I've got this connection, which is a Home Depot um, connection for a downspout that goes to a flat spout. And then I have this extension. 
the square extension that comes up. And now, of course, the bed will push up against here. I will cut this down. I will cut when I put the bed up, and when I'll finalize, make a mark. This pulls out. Let's see if I can pull this out. I'll show you. So, this is uh, the air is coming out of there very good. No issues. Lovely. So, I'll shoot right up the front of the camper here. But again, to kind of show you what this is, I don't want to hurt this, but I'll, that's it. This is what I have. I mean, that part I think was $5. Again, that was probably about eight dollars from Amazon. And this hose, one hose, and this piece is one long piece. I cut down. This was fifteen dollars, and then I can just slide that back on there. A uh, one little nice note I made here. I actually drilled, drilled out bigger holes and got some flathead screws and went right through because a wire, like a tie with a support here, that's not going to be secure enough. So this is really nice flatheads go. And then I'll put some tape, silver tape, over these two things, plug that up. But this side is done. You know, once I got all my tools out, this took probably a half hour, 45 minutes. So now I'm going to run this other one, duct straight through over this side, and do the same thing. And see how that goes. And then I'm going to have to cut out the boards as well. Wish me luck. Okay, let me show you where I'm at here. Put the tape at least five to six revolutions of that duct tape and then put you can barely see it then put that connection on with the clamp ran it over and again this one's going to go over here on this side around 10 inches from the wall let me show you what i did so again i drilled these holes through here so i can put the screws through this is a much more secure fit then and then i'll put tape over these silver tape and here are my screws these are actually they got the square heads like the camper screws i don't know where the hell i had them but they they it's easier to screw in no, no question so i've got some spacers in there because they're a little bit longer plus they put out um will hold better and spread the pressure so that's how i got this set up and now i can just go screw it in have a positive connection and uh and then put tape over these okay guys here we are i got the second one hooked up tied it up to the other one actually I, I attached the same actually eye hole back there so I'm not pulling on that one I'm just next to it got this one hooked up definitely getting the ear upward now what's my problem here I cut these a little long obviously I've got to be below this hinge lie when this folds down I would it'd be nice if that just bends down I don't know one little thing I need to share with you a little tidbit is this is one piece, right? This was one whole piece. I cut it down. Well, this little, this little tip right here, indentation, is made to snap into this one, so it holds in there nice. Well, since I'm using the same one over here, it doesn't have that. These tits are not the same thing. These are something else. These actually connect to the other side. So I pushed it down, and then I put some three black screws on the back side, holding it in place. Otherwise, this just falls forward. So this holds it in place a little bit. Now again, this is this is kind of stiff stuff a little bit. Now, it's interesting. This one, this one's flexing a little bit more over here. Maybe with the way I have it mounted or something. I don't know. Anyways, okay. So that's what we got. Let me show you the temperatures coming out of here. So this is like a heat pump, right? But look at that, I'm putting out 60 degree air. I get down there, 55, well no. 50, <laughs> you know, 52 degrees, some point I guess. It I don't know, I get right down the throat, 48. You know, and as we back out, it gets hotter up at the roof. Shit, sorry. Up at the roof line, I'm like 89, 79, 78. So I just shut the door finally here, but it's 100 degrees outside right now. Let's see, let me open the door here for you. I don't know if you can read this. 98, I think that says, I don't know how the, yeah, 98, 95 degrees. 
So again, beginning of summer here. So what I'm gonna do now is I've got to put this board down hard with one hand. I've got my board that goes here and then it slides up, right? Of course it doesn't fit. I'm gonna have to notch this out now. And then hopefully the, the bedding or whatever is just gonna crunch up next to that. I mean, it only sticks out a few inches. <laughs> we'll see if that's gonna be a problem or not. Hopefully not, we'll see. Because we might end up just going to a, um, a gel mattress altogether, make this a day bed area all the time. Um, and then we can just notch that out if necessary. But again, I left all the old stuff, so during the winter, if I just want to switch it over, just take it off, put the silver ones on, and then it'll come out the front ones. And then just keep switching back and forth each season, no big deal. Or just leave it for the heat, who knows. Um, but let me work on these pieces of wood now and notching them out. We'll get back to you. Okay, guys, I notched this out rounded out the edges so hopefully it doesn't fracture nobody sits that close to the wall but slide that right in Give it over that lip that is it so now we got that coming through there oh one thing I wanted to show you shoot flip this up one additional thing bonus on besides getting air where you need it Flip this up. By keeping those tubes on there, or you could take them off either way, it would work. I put these tubes so they're right in front of this vent, which is the return. So this big vent in here, which is hard to see, it's all the return. So these are, not only is this acting as a return, which comes through here, and only has this little triangle to come through to draw on, these now, I've got them, if you can see, I've got it facing right towards the return. I don't have it fastened there, it's just laying in front of there. But if you'll watch, you'll see if this, see how it gets, it's pulling. It's pulling air through there. Same with this one, I got the same one back there. But look, it's just ever so mildly, but now it's getting in. Now again, when I put this cap down, because most of the air is drawing through here, I think it'll be a lot stronger. So let me flip this down. Hard to do with one hand here. All right, so quieted it up. I'm still not fitting flush. There's a big open area back there, but I think the suction will increase, of course. Yeah. See that? Now it's returning through here too. And over here. Not as much probably even over here. These are better. So again, the air is blowing up to the top now finally. There's not cold air at the bottom. Well, it's not super chilled air like before. Now I gotta notch this side out. And we're almost done. Now again, I'm gonna have to ultimately cut these things back. They're not that flexible because they gotta be below this, this hinge of the pivot point here. Figure that out. I'm gonna noodle on that a little bit here. I don't think I screwed this in all the way. Oh no, see the top came off on this one. Yeah, I might need to screw this one in too. So, all right, let me finish this up. Okay, so I got the other one notched out here. What we learned from this one is I tried to use a quarter inch router and it bites into it and I've just boogered it up a little bit over here. So this time, I cut a half inch hole right near the corners, cut with a little mini skill saw across, and then I sanded it with a Dremel wheel. Um, an actual sand disc round wheel, works great, smooths it all out. So you can hear it get quieter and quieter as we cover this up. And there we go. And again, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna, those things are removable, but then it's only sticking out an inch or two. But um, again, these, these are additional returns now, basically. And now that I covered it up, it, they really <laughs> are sucking the air. So now I got good returns at the bottom, air blowing out at the top. It's a smoking hot day today. Now we're gonna start putting the uh, cushions back on and see where we're at. Okay, so now we got the kind of bed area set up. So now these are just returns down here. All the air 
is coming out the top. It's actually over the edge here, which is even nice. But again, we're gonna have to figure that out. We can't get this last one in because that's coming out three inches. So we can kind of jam it down in there. But anyways, I think either way, we're gonna go with getting our own like four inch um, cool topper, right yes. hon? Yes, so, please. you know, um, women have their uh, heat. They're very hot, so. Either way, you know, these are okay. We got a little topper from before we put on top here, and it works okay, but it's not great. But this turned out very inexpensive, less than $50, a couple hours, no more than two hours of work time. Um, regarding the second connection here, there again, there's not a special um, retainer that holds it in place. So when you snap that one down, you're gonna have to put a couple screws in, two, three screws at least, just to hold it on the back side so it doesn't fall out on you. If you just wanna use the one piece and cut it in sections. Otherwise, they've just got one pre-made, um, what would you call it, um, retainer and tension that snaps into place on this one over here. That's, so anyways, so things are looking good. It's nice and cool in here. It's really hot outside. Uh, we'll see. This could be the last of the video here. Um, I think you guys get the gist. Um, hope this helps. We've seen tons of videos of people, again, putting air conditioners in the side of their units on the smaller models, but nobody did anything to solve this problem. I'm a little surprised A-Liner set it up this way. I'm sure they hopefully addressed it at this point, but uh, this changes things dramatically. So again, we're in the driveway in the beginning of summer. 95 98 degrees outside very comfortable in here not super chilled but uh you know we are just baking baking in the sun right now um hope all is well hope this helps god bless so here's our dometic this heat pump working its way again hot outside sun's coming just mostly sunny partly cloudy as you can see 95 degrees at least turned out that i'm doing this because it turned out the cushions did fit i just spread the they're kind of tight in there now and just a little pinched back there but it works it works what a difference in here oh yeah you can't even hold it in front of there it's blowing so uh, anyways so we're gonna order a little topper or a whole new four inch uh, mattress topper uh, gel. So hopefully it helps you guys. Thank you so much.